I enrol for embedded systems. Introduction to data analytics and machine learning. So introduction to modern application development. Project planning and control. Introduction to programming in Sikyata. I did the health research fundamentals. Introduction to airplane performance. This is my 11th exam. I have a certificate. I am an associate professor in chemistry at Pachayapas College, Chennai. Research scholar. I am a scientist in DRDO. Employed in a TVS group. I am a pediatrician. I am working in Chennai port. I am 17 years old now. Completed my 12th. Working at Yava Motors R&D. I'm working in the RDR Cancer Institute in Chennai. I feel much happy to attend this exam. The learning experience is excellent. Whatever the questions posted in the forum, it's immediately being answered. That is an amazing work what they are doing at really. With respect to NPTEL, the quality of lectures and delivery, the contents to the students, no doubt, unquestionable. And it's too good. The examination today I really enjoy. I've been traveling more than two hours uh, daily. I just hearing that entire video conversation throughout my journey, like not sitting in home. working in a different domain totally uh, like mainframes so the course which I took was introduction to modern application development so this uh, course was very helpful because I've learned new technologies the course content was very extraordinary to be precise even if you compare to other websites uh, they don't offer certification like uh, MIT or uh, any Carnegie Mellon open course but this is a very good initiative by the IITs and IACs, which can improve the standard of education. I was expecting to get gold medal by IIT, but I don't know if it will be there or not. It's a nice opportunity for people outside of IITs to be able to take an exam that is conducted by IIT, so the standards are pretty good, obviously. I have learned more in these three months than taking some papers in the college. Even at the age of 50 plus, we are getting some enthusiasm to go through all these lectures and all those things. Another person from my college has taken it in another center and both of us feel that the teaching was absolutely brilliant throughout the course and it's not only theory, even practice is there. They, went, they actually showed us through the flight lab and they actually had very, very practical examples. For youngster, definitely it is useful. But this type of courses, if you find in other places, it is very, very costly. But here it is... A for learning purpose, it is cheap. For obtaining a certificate, it is only a nominal fees. I appreciate uh, the initiative of MHRD and uh, the uh, strenuous efforts taken by uh, the IIT groups for uh, providing uh, uh, the latest and uh, technically sound education on online mode. This is the first time I felt that uh, some course for uh, working professionals and uh, it is well organized as such. Nowadays, uh, doctors are expected to do a lot of research also, apart from seeing patients. So this course helped me to learn a lot. It was a nice experience. It's wonderful in sitting along with the students and solving the problems. Makes us to be more concentrated with the course, to have a better deliverability of the content, to the recent trends are in par with the reputed institutions. This course is really like, uh, you no. Know, bringing a bridge across what we are doing now and what we are going to do in the future. This program will be the harbinger of a big intervention in India in the area of online education so that we can address the grand challenge of providing high quality and useful education to a very, very large number, probably the largest number of youngsters in the world.
general for embedded systems. Introduction to data analytics and machine learning. So introduction to modern application development. Project planning and control. So introduction to programming in Sikyata. Why did the health research fundamentals? Introduction to airplane performance. This is my 11th exam. I have a certificate. I am an associate professor in chemistry at Pachayapas College, Chennai. Research scholar. I am a scientist in DRDO. Employed in a TVS group. I am a pediatrician. I am working in Chennai port. I am 17 years old now. Completed my 12th. Working at Yava Motors R&D. I'm working in the RDR Cancer Institute in Chennai. I feel much happy to attend this exam. The learning experience is excellent. Whatever the questions posted in the forum, it's immediately being answered. That is an amazing work what they are doing at really. With respect to NPTEL, the quality of lectures and delivery, the contents to the students, no doubt, unquestionable. And it's too good. The examination today I really enjoy. I've been traveling more than two hours uh, daily. I just hearing that entire video conversation throughout my journey, like not sitting in home. working in a different domain totally uh, like mainframes so the course which I took was introduction to modern application development so this uh, course was very helpful because I've learned new technologies the course content was very extraordinary to be precise even if you compare to other websites uh, they don't offer certification like uh, MIT or uh, any Carnegie Mellon open course but this is a very good initiative by the IITs and IACs, which can improve the standard of education. I was expecting to get gold medal by IIT, but I don't know if it will be there or not. It's a nice opportunity for people outside of IITs to be able to take an exam that is conducted by IIT, so the standards are pretty good, obviously. I have learned more in these three months than taking some papers in the college. Even at the age of 50 plus, we are getting some enthusiasm to go through all these lectures and all those things. Another person from my college has taken it in another center and both of us feel that the teaching was absolutely brilliant throughout the course and it's not only theory, even practice is there. They, went, they actually showed us through the flight lab and they actually had very, very practical examples. For youngster, definitely it is useful. But this type of courses, if you find in other places, it is very, very costly. But here it is, uh, for learning purpose, it is cheap. For obtaining a certificate, it is only a nominal fees. I appreciate uh, the initiative of MHRD and uh, the uh, strenuous efforts taken by uh, the IIT groups for uh, providing uh, uh, the latest and uh, technically sound education on online mode. This is the first time I felt that uh, some course for uh, working professionals and uh, it is well organized as such. Nowadays uh, doctors are expected to do a lot of research also apart from seeing patients. So this course helped me to learn a lot. It was a nice experience. It's wonderful in sitting along with the students and solving the problems. Makes us to be more concentrated with the course. Uh, yes, uh, we are live now. Please start. Yes, so a warm good morning to all the participants, students, and faculty from all over the country to this NPTEL Awareness e workshop organized by NPTEL in collaboration with Rajiv Gandhi University of Knowledge Technologies, RGKT, Basar, Telangana. MGM's College of Engineering and Technology, Mumbai, Maharashtra, and K. Ramakrishnan College of Technology, Tirchurapalli, Tamil Nadu. This is Eschad Rakesh Roshan, STOC and Swayam NPTEL Coordinator of RGKT Basar, Telangana. Let me also take this opportunity to welcome the other two coordinators of this workshop, Mr. Sanjay Vaikar, STOC of MGM's College of Engineering and Technology, and Mr. Syed Akbar. SPOC of K. Ramakrishnan College of Technology, KRCT, and the guest speaker for today, Dr. N. Vasudevan, Principal KRCT. For the benefit of all the participants, let me now give a brief introduction of NPTEL followed by what is expected from today's workshop. 
NPTEL is an acronym for National Program on Technology Enhanced Learning, and it's a project of MHRD Government of India, initiated by seven Indian Institutes of Technology IITs, along with the Indian Institute of Science, IIC Bangalore, in 2003, to provide quality education to anyone interested in learning from the IITs. The main goal was to create web and video resources in all major branches of engineering and physical sciences at the undergraduate and PG levels, and also for the management courses at the PG level. The highlights of the NPTEL project are as follows. This is the largest online repository in the world of courses in engineering, basic sciences, and selected humanities and social science subjects. Also, the online web portal nptel.ac.in has more than 471 million views. And the dedicated YouTube channel for NPTEL is the most subscribed educational channel with 1.5 million plus sub subscribers and more than 8, 19 million views. And there is more than 56,000 hours of video content which is transcribed and subtitled available for everyone. And this is the most accessed library of peer reviewed educational content in the world. And there is also a translation of more than 12,000 hours of English transcripts into the regional Indian languages for the benefit of all the participants or students from these states. And the most important aspect of all of this is that these courses are open for anyone to access free of cost. So anyone who is interested in learning to get you know, gets an access to quality content, which includes discussion with the course faculty and access to assignments for self-testing purposes. So it is now possible for anyone outside the IIT system to be able to do an online certification course from NPTEL and get a certificate from IITs and ISCs. So IITs are reaching out and taking the education to the homes of the people of the country through this initiative. This also enables the student to directly engage and learn from the best faculty in the country in a particular subject. Obviously, this would strengthen the fundamentals of the student in the given course. And faculty can also use these courses for career progression as well. UGC and AICT have issued guidelines where, wherein up to 40% of the course credits you know, in a semester can be obtained by taking the courses on, offered on SWAM and PITEL. So NPTEL also partners with around 4,500 plus colleges as on today in the form of NPTEL local chapters. And each chapter will have a STOC or a coordinator with whom the NPTEL would work very closely. And NPTEL caters to the needs of not only students, but also you know, it's implementing a lot of initiatives for the betterment of faculty. A few of these initiatives are the faculty development program, but, but you know wherein a faculty need not travel anywhere he can sit at his you know comfort on his desk and then he can do the courses on a ftp basis and this would obviously count for his for his career progression his or her career progression so faculty have to enroll in these courses and complete any of these nptel aact or fdp approved courses by passing the certification exam and they can get the nptel aact fdp certificate Another initiative is the mentor initiative for the faculty to mentor the students you know, for these enrolled courses and then get a mentor certificate. And most importantly for all of us, the main purpose of everyone here today is to see that our students get the best of the content, gain fundamental knowledge and expertise in the subjects, thereby becoming well equipped, become better human beings and serve the society back. So to take this forward, NPTEL has been bringing a plethora of initiatives for students community. A few of these include, the most important part of it is the video content, video lectures that's made available completely free of cost for all the students in almost all disciplines with more than I think uh, 620 plus courses made available this semester. Uh, apart from it, the certification courses and the other initiatives apart from these two are the internship initiatives, and uh, live sessions, you know, wherein the students can interact with the course faculty. And there are also laboratory workshops, soft skills workshops for improving employability of the students. There is also a great gate preparation portal being made available to the students. And uh, there is also a translation of English scripts, transcripts of NPTEL videos so that the understanding becomes easier for the students. There is also an initiative called as NPTEL STARS. So, in today's workshop, 
we would be learning about all of this directly from the NPTEL team. So the aim of this workshop is to create maximum awareness among the learners, uh, among the learners about the initiatives, various initiatives taken up by the NPTEL. And this would include sessions on NPTEL, its futures, certification courses, and all the initiatives that I just mentioned just now. So with this brief introduction to the program and today's workshop, I now invite Dr. N. Vasudevan, Principal KRCT, the guest speaker of the day, to please take over. Thank you. Dr. N. Vasudevan, Principal KR City, the guest speaker for today, please. Sayyid Abba, sir, is he there? Is he joining? I think he is having some network issues. He'll be joining in two minutes. Excuse me, ma'am. Am I audible? Yes. Ma'am, Divya, ma'am. Yes, sir. Ma'am, Sarah will be joining in two minutes, ma'am. It's a network issue, ma'am. I understand, sir. Yes. Okay. Sayyid Tadba, sir. Ma'am. Would it be okay to do it after the workshop, uh, like immediately before the PPT presentation by the colleges? Ma'am, I can't able to get you, ma'am. No, still he is not ma able to uh, He is having some network issue, ma'am. After the completion of presentation by eight people, uh, we are several address, ma'am. I will speak uh, to the sir, ma'am. Uh, that's what. So can we start the workshop? We will finish that. Then after one hour, uh, yeah, yeah, he can do yeah, the guest speech. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, ma'am. I you. will communicate. Thank you. Then I will go you. ahead and do the workshop uh, presentation. Yeah, now. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Thanks for the confirmation. Okay, so uh, many of you may be familiar with this logo. This is the NPTEL logo. Uh, we'll start off with it. So NPTEL is uh, today a lot of initiatives put together. It's not just about creating courses and putting it up on the website, but we have certification, 
not just certification for one course, but it is uh, also clubbing courses together to make it into a domain. Uh, for faculty, we have FDP courses, which fetch you career points. Then we have internship opportunity for students. We have soft skill training going on for local chapter students and so on. So this is what this presentation will uh, talk about. Okay, so uh, you might have all heard about these two terms, uh, NPTEL and Swayam. So uh, Swayam is a project of the ministry, the government of India, MHRD. And they created this in 2017 and said that all these agencies that you see below, right, uh, IAM Bangalore, UGC, CEC, uh, NCRT, NITR, AICT, they all have to offer courses for certification under Swayam. So NPTEL is also a national coordinator under Swayam. We primarily offer courses in engineering. The UG level, the bachelor's level, the MTech ME level, some PhD level courses also. But since we have courses uh, that are there in the management and humanities division inside IITs, we offer that also on NPTEL. NPTEL also coordinates with some institutes like the ICERS to offer, uh, say, the physics, chemistry, mathematics courses. We work with the IIITs. We work with National Law School Bangalore. We work with some medical institutions to offer medical related courses. So uh, maybe 90% of our courses will be engineering related humanities management and 10% is something else we help. So uh, NPTEL comes under Swayam and we coordinate this primarily. There are other agencies also. So one thing to remember when you are going to swayam.gov.in and you try to enroll to any course or you try to join any course, please check whether the national coordinator is NPTEL if you want to join the NPTEL course. Because if you just search for, say, a database management systems course, right? Maybe there is some other college also offering it with somebody else's coordinating. So the course name that we offer will also be database management system. Theirs will also be that possibly. So how do you actually differentiate if it's an NPTEL course? On every course card, we will have a logo of NPTEL. I'll show it to you when we come there. But you can check that and then you can join the course. Okay, that is something that you have to look out for. Okay. Uh, NPTEL started in 2003 and uh, the project is 18 years old today. The vision, mission that we have had is to uh, record the content that is being taught to IIT students and put it out for anybody to watch and view so that nobody can say, I didn't get a chance to prepare for IITs. I am not in the IITs today. I cannot get access to their knowledge, to their teaching. Uh, hence, you know, I am denied this opportunity. Nobody can say that. Today, more than 2,000 courses we have in our repository. You can go there and you can actually access the courses for free. You can just go there. You can scroll. You can watch all the videos. We have more than 50,000 hours of video in our website. You can access all that for free. There is no charge. There is no free a fee at all to access our content. Okay. There's somebody who's asking, is NPTEL useful for students of LLB? So National Law School Bangalore, NLSIU, is offering uh, two courses, I think, in uh, Jan. I don't know if we have. In July, we had two courses, I think. And more are coming in that. So specific to law, we do have a couple of courses. IIT Kharagpur has a law department. So from there, we have some courses coming in. But otherwise, you can access the general courses that we have also say on uh, management or English, those might be useful to you. Yeah. So whenever you think of a website, right, what really uh, do you look out for? Say how many people access that website? How, many, how much content do we have? In a uh, YouTube also, whenever we go to and watch a YouTube video or a YouTube channel, one of the things we look at is how many people have watched that video or how many subscribers are there in that channel, correct? So this is the NPTEL statistics. We have more than 1.3 billion views of the NPTEL videos. Okay. So this is like huge, huge for a technical channel, which has no entertainment. You can't call NPTEL videos as entertainment. There is no song and dance or something. It's all faculty from the IITs, IIC teaching serious stuff there. And for that, we have more than 1.3 billion views 
we have 37 lakh subscribers on our youtube channel so any of you has not subscribed to our channel today i think i would say you're missing out on something go to our youtube channel subscribe for our updates so that you get it go to our social media handles subscribe to our uh, social media handle so that you get the latest updates from nptel and this is where uh, we are today as of nptel okay so these are what we do at nptel today and if you do an nptel course what is the use of it so the very first point is credit transfer i was just talking to dr satish also about it and said that maybe we should try to see whether students can get credit transfer for the courses that you do from nptel but yes even if you don't get credit transfer i think you get a lot of knowledge from nptel courses uh, for instance say what are the kind of courses we have that we would recommend to students in your college correct so we will say that we have a lot of programming courses so we have programming in c c++ python java programming and all that so if you are say a bsc physics student or a ba english student maybe a bcom student as part of your uh, program in the college you would not be learning programming possibly so you can go to nptel you can learn the programming course you can learn a bit of programming and also get that certificate along with your program wherever you go today to any company you want they use some kind of a database they will have some kind of coding that is there they will have some kind of software they are using for uh, in within their company it's good for you all to know at least something about it okay that is the first part the other thing okay what are the other courses we have that is useful for you if you're planning for higher education you want to go in for a masters degree supposing you want to strengthen your fundamentals your foundations you want to maybe do some more courses from other institutes so that you're confident when you're attending interviews those courses will be available on nptel so we have all the ug undergraduate courses you can go through that you don't even have to write the exam for each of these courses you can just go through the videos you can try solving problems you can watch many videos try to get knowledge from it and strengthen your foundation so if you're going for higher education i would say the courses are really useful so first thing i'll say try something like programming courses then you go in for higher education probably you want to try and strengthen your fundamentals the third thing try to learn something that is of interest to you which you possibly cannot learn otherwise for instance we have courses on german language teaching you german teaching you japanese teaching you sanskrit so if you want to learn any of these you can come to nptel and learn so for instance german is taught only by maybe the goethe institute and maybe some other institutes here the same course is taught but it is free for you and if you want a certificate you can write the exam but otherwise too you can learn the german language for free same thing you can learn japanese language why are these useful maybe you go to a company that has branches say in germany japan they have opportunities for people to go there but you need to know the language so at that point this becomes very useful for you so you can try to learn other languages also through nptel courses okay maybe you're technically very strong you have good foundations you have good knowledge in your particular program but maybe your english is not very good hence you are not confident about speaking we have a lot of courses like soft skills development soft skills enhancement how to attend an interview the body language that you have to have when attending an interview uh, interpersonal communication skills leadership skills so we have a lot of courses like this that you can also go through it will give you a lot of tips on how to present yourself how to ready yourself for such situation so that having the knowledge you can also be confident when you talk to somebody and you are presenting or being in an interview so that's another set of nptel courses that we have as part of what we offer so there are multiple things so how many courses are we offering in january right you might be thinking oh there might be 10 courses out of 10 i have to choose and what do i choose here right we have 592 courses open for you to join in january 2022 semester so anybody who wants to learn i think should be able to get at least two or three courses of their interest that they can join and learn joining is free like i said there is no fee at all it is all completely free and you can watch it there are no live classes these are all recorded lectures 
so you can watch at your convenience if your college day uh, college time is say 9 am to 4 pm or something in the evening you have time you can sit and watch nptel lectures on saturday sunday you can watch it there'll be one assignment every week you have to solve the assignment and you have to submit it for that also you get 10 days of time so you can watch the lectures you can try solving the assignment maybe a couple of you friends are joining the same course you can all sit together you can learn from each other you can solve together take help from your teachers and you can do the nptel courses so there is no such thing as there'll be live lectures maybe you'll miss a few lectures because you have college or something it is all video lectures along with assignment okay so the first part is credit transfer and learning from our courses yeah so this is the credit transfer i don't want to discuss too much about this because uh, we i think uh, your university doesn't have credit transfer so i'll skip this slide so a uh, credit transfer just as a piece of information for maybe the faculty who are out here iits do do credit transfer from nptel courses we do it at the btech level we do it at the masters level for phd working professionals for them to get credit transfer also we do it so iits also do credit transfer from nptel courses it is not just the outside uh, colleges that have to do it we ourselves do credit transfer from uh, nptel courses okay yeah uh this is an important thing i would say so we have a program by which the toppers in the courses actually get internship opportunity with the faculty in the iits so whoever has offered that course they take in normally about 2 3 5 interns during summer or winter if you are a topper in the course so if you do a course very well and you become a topper in the certification course then we give you an opportunity to intern with the faculty so we are trying to scale up these numbers covid uh, hit us also so we could not get them but we hope it will be at least 200 300 students who can intern at the iits with the faculty so this is a wonderful opportunity for you to come and stay uh, you know in the city uh, be in the iit madras or iit kanpur or iit kharagpur or iit bombay lab you get to interact with the faculty members there you interact with their phd scholars there you can do all of this which will be wonderful if you are especially thinking about going for higher studies you will get the idea of what is done in these institutes i think it's a, a really good opportunity for students outside of the iits to come in and experience the iits here so there is internship then we also do soft skill training so uh, there are many colleges who provide it on their own but there are also some colleges who do not have this training for the students so if uh, college students in local chapters uh, they participate in nptel courses then for those students we are providing soft skill training so this training is of two types we do a one week training or we do a two week training depending on how much time the student can spare and the college also wants the students to do so here we have group discussion practice we ask you to write your resume and we give input on the resume we ask you all to present about yourselves give feedback about how you should talk where you should look your body language and so on and there are also a one on one like every student will get half an hour with a trainer to discuss about how they should also do so the right side photo you see is a one on one where we do mock interviews we try to uh, simulate an interview and see how you are responding and then give feedback on how you should do better in your interview so we do soft skill training for students who do nptel courses so this is something that we do from nptel again if you look at numbers we have finished uh, soft skill training for more than 2000 students currently and we are doing about 10 colleges a month and we hope to scale it up yes we can extend it to you all also and we can get it done okay uh, so there is a 7 or 14 day training program that i was talking about next okay so somebody was asking uh, will we get jobs uh, with uh, these nptel courses how is it helpful to us and so on when we do surveys of nptel students and where they have gotten placed these are the companies that they have gotten placed so far this is like some of the companies are on. it's not all the companies that they've gotten placed for but they have said that the nptel courses have really helped them when they went for the interviews when they show a certificate to the interviewer and say i did a course with the iits i got so much marks in that course it really does help in the job interview so those people also ask questions on that assuming you've studied well and you can answer it will definitely help you that outside of the college syllabus 
you have done something more to learn and skill yourself also companies approach us and ask us do we have students in particular areas that we can send them their resumes so we also collect resumes of students on our site and if they are interested we send these out to the companies and the companies call them for interviews go through their uh, levels of recruitment and we have been able to place nptel students from our side also in some companies so we are still working on it i hope this will increase we are talking with more companies on this front but otherwise even if you have like two or three courses from nptel and the certificates for it i think it will be hugely useful because of the logos we put on the certificate okay yeah the next one uh, there are a lot of uh, students learners faculty who do multiple courses with us there are people who do uh, the courses maybe uh, you know they do three courses in a semester four courses in a semester they are toppers in two or three courses every semester there are people who have done a lot of courses with us i'll maybe show you the data in the next one but this is another type of recognition we give to nptel learners so you can go to nptel website and at the top we have a link called nptel stars so click on that link click on any of this you will see how many people are actually doing multiple courses with us so if uh, students are thinking oh i don't have time and i'm so busy i can't do it you should just see to uh, see these pages to see how come these people who are working professionals who are students in colleges just like you or who are maybe you know uh, uh, studying or faculty or something how are they able to get the time to do so many courses if they can get the time i think anybody can get the time right you just have to manage your time on when you are going to study and not waste time on something else that is not important etc so this page i would say please go and see so these are the kind of uh, domain scholar superstars uh evangelists and all we have uh, we have more than about uh, yeah uh, okay i don't have the total but maybe around more than uh, 3000 as i can just calculate on the fly that we are going to have these people doing multiple courses and they are nptel stars with us today maybe we need to update the domain scholars number right okay uh, so there is something called domain certification that we have currently come up with in the last two years so what is a domain right so a domain we have created uh, just to club courses together and maybe about five or six courses we have put together and we say that if you study this uh, six courses and you get more than 60 in the course in each course not just pass it by getting a 40 then you get a domain scholar certificate so why is this important this is important because it shows that you have specialized in a particular area so for instance we have a programming domain so in the programming domain we have courses such as c uh, c++ python uh, database management course and then maybe uh, cloud computing course and so on so if you do a programming domain right and you do all the six courses it shows that you have a solid foundation in this particular area so when you go for an interview and you actually show a domain certificate versus just one or two certificates from us that will make more of an impact on the interviewing person so this is something we recommend it is more just to guide students on what to study to become uh, to become and specialize in one particular area we found that many nptel learners do four or five courses but they do random courses that are not connected to each other so this uh, domain will guide you in what to study if you want to specialize in a particular area we have about 53 domains today in all branches of engineering management english and for faculty we have a faculty domain basic and advanced also so that you can also go through that part of it so you can go to our website there are more details on domains there uh, you can we can talk about it later too okay uh yeah so these are some of the domains we have so for you it might be relevant the english studies we have a domain psychology we have a domain management we have it in marketing operations uh, patents and intellectual property in economics and of course engineering uh, and all we have couple of uh, domains so uh, if you are a general student uh, not an engineering student 
I would recommend the programming domain for you. If you want to try out something, do the programming domain or do the management domain. That will be really useful for you. So if you're an engineering student, of course, you can try any of the domains relevant in your particular discipline or engineering, or you can do a cross discipline. So for instance, I'm a maybe mechanical engineer. I like electrical engineering. You can actually do the courses in electrical engineering and you can get a domain from there. So here, nobody stops you and says, hey, you're in mechanical engineering department. You cannot study electrical engineering, say power systems course, power electronics course. You're not allowed to study that. There is no such thing like that. Anybody can study any course as long as you can cope with it. So you can also do a cross department study by doing domains from any of what is listed here. Uh, this is what a domain certificate looks like. We give this, we list all the courses you have done and we uh, assign it out, of course, from the specific IIT that we are giving it from. Okay, we have so many domain scholars and as you can see, the number of domain scholars is only increasing every semester. There are more people who are planning and doing courses so that you can complete a domain. One point to note, though every domain is about five or six courses, you do not have to do the five or six courses in one semester. Every semester you can do one or two courses and over a period of even two years, you can finish a domain and get a domain certificate. So don't think that you have to do six courses and get stressed out, I cannot do it and all. Do one course every semester and at the end of say even three years, you'll get a domain certificate. That's a very good thing, okay? So how do we do lab courses? Is it online? Uh, not really. We do it in the institutes. We do it in various institutes such as uh, ISERS, IAT. You can come here. You can stay for a week at the institute. You can do the lab experiments. You can listen to faculty giving one or two lectures in the day and then do a lab exam and take a certificate. So what is the advantage of this? You will get to see really modern labs. You will get to see what the state of the art labs are in these institutes. You can see the equipment that is there, the modern equipment that is there. You can see the advanced research that is happening here. You can interact and get explained on all this equipment. So we had very successful uh, labs being run at all these places. We had planned for about 40 more lab workshops last summer, but of course COVID came, so we couldn't do it. Let's hope in 2022, we should be able to open the labs, uh, lab courses again. So this is a wonderful opportunity again. If you do the theory course in NP10, those people, we will permit that you can apply and come for these lab certification courses and you can do the workshops here, okay? So that was the idea behind the question we asked you. What else do we do at NPTEL? This is for faculty in colleges. So faculty in colleges under the AICT scheme, we explicitly have an MOU with them where NPTEL advanced courses, if you do and pass, you will get uh, an AICT approved FDP certificate. So that is for faculty in AICT colleges. For those under the UGC scheme, they have given a broad guideline that if you do an, uh, uh, Swayam courses, there will be some career progression points, but uh, the actual logistics, I'm not sure you'll have to check within your university. So that is something that is there. But uh, we see that more than about uh, 20, 30,000 faculty write our exams every semester and most of them apply for the FTP certificates also. This is very, very useful for faculty, I will say, because you don't have to spend money. You don't have to take leave. You don't have to miss your college work and go to some institute, stay for a week or stay for 10 days and then do an FTP course. You can do the FTP course online itself, just like the students. You join for free on Swayam portal, you go through the course, submit assignments, and then you pay the thousand rupees and attend the final exam and get your certificate. Once you get your certificate, you can apply for the FDP certificate to us and get that too. That's all it takes to do an FDP course with us today. So this is very important for faculty. I hope this is clear. This is what the FDP certificate looks like. You can see that it has the signature of the uh, director from AICT also. There is a regulation under which they have approved this, the AICT logo is there. So this you can present when you are going in for your 
uh, promotion interviews, right? The conversion that they do is a four week NPTEL course is equivalent to half FDP of one week. An eight week NPTEL course is a full FDP of one week and a 12 week course is equivalent to one and a half weeks FDP equivalent. So this is the equivalence of it, okay? Yes, the next thing I wanted to talk about was gate coaching. So we have started a new uh, link on our website and uh, somebody has given us CSR money for developing this and uh, uh, providing whatever, uh, I wouldn't call it coaching, but yes, gate preparation, whatever we can help students with to have and prepare for gate exams free. Again, we are trying to do from our side. So you can go here and we have given uh, solutions to all the previous gate questions. We have given uh, videos uh, solving those questions. We have uh, uh, extra questions that are coming up, practice questions that will be coming up, small courses linking all the videos that are relevant to GATE. So we will be coming up. Phase one is only over. Phase two and phase three, we will be coming up within the next six months. So keep watching this uh, uh, link on NPTEL website if you are preparing for the GATE exam. Okay, that is one new initiative we have come up with. The next initiative exams outside of India. So till uh, 2020, we were doing exams only in India where you have to go to a center and you have to write it. And then we got a lot of requests from uh, people outside of India saying they also study from NPTEL courses and they want to write exams with us. So now we help to do that also. People outside India can also write exams, NPTEL exams and get certificates from us. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, Translation is the next effort. So for people who are asking in what languages do we offer courses, uh, the faculty teach only in uh, English uh, for now, uh, but the English transcripts we translate into eight languages. So we do uh, Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam, Kannada, Hindi, Gujarati, uh, Bengali and Marathi. So that's the languages that we are translating it into. So Telugu, we have a lot of uh, transcripts that are translated into Telugu language. So the faculty will talk in English, but you can also read what we have translated in Telugu or Tamil or Hindi, whatever is your language, and you can understand it better. We are keeping the videos in English so that you also learn English because when you go to work somewhere, English will be the primary language you have to communicate in. So this is something we're doing. Uh, one or two courses we are getting in regional language. For instance, this time in January, we are doing a machine learning uh, course in Tamil language. The faculty is going to teach in Tamil language. There is a signals and systems course that is coming out in Hindi language. In July semester, we are getting an R programming course in Hindi language. So only two or three we have. Most are in uh, English. We don't have too many other language courses. So that's something you can check. Uh, let me take a question from the chat. There are one or two saying I'm from commerce background. I'm from BCom. What courses we can take? So for BCom students, we do have a lot of uh, accounts related courses. You can check those out. Go to management department. I'll show you how to filter and learn from it. You can go there and you can see how to do it. So you can check out management related courses uh, in which we have accounts related commerce, economics related courses. That's something you can learn. Or if you're learning all that anyway in your college, right, I would strongly recommend programming courses for y'all. Learn at least one programming language to know what is programming, how do people program, whether you write the exam or not, I would say please write the exam. But yes, even if you don't write the exam, at least try a course, do the assignment, see whether you can do something about it. Or if you're not doing that, I would propose the English courses. I would propose the, uh, you know, the German language or the Japanese language course that you can learn from. Those are what we have. Uh, quite a few for you to choose from. I would say more than 100 we would have for BCom uh, level students at least. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so these are translation. How many courses we have in each language? So in Telugu, we have 48 courses that are translated for now. So that's what we have. Right. Okay. We have also uh, something called special lecture series. So we also have industry people come in and present lectures. So these are again free to watch, very interesting topics, very, very 
distinguished people who come and present lectures. These are vice presidents, CEOs, CTOs of companies like IBM, Capgemini, Infosys that we've had in the past, IAS officers who have come and spoken to us, film directors who's come and spoken to us, journalist in the Hindu, a director at Hindu, entrepreneurs. So I would really say you should go and watch these lectures when you have time. Even if you missed it last year, it's okay. But listening to such people is very inspirational. You know, what they have done, how they have worked, how they have brought up new companies, how they've started a company, where did they get their idea from? These are all really interesting to listen to. I would say, please go back and listen to some of these lectures. It will give you a tremendous amount of information, knowledge, and maybe there'll be some topic to talk about also. When somebody asks you something, it will widen your knowledge base. Okay, this is something that you can see. Okay, so this is what we have. So as you can see, 10 to 15 years, that is school children, we have learning from NPTEL currently, it is 65 uh, in that range. The maximum, as you can see, and like I was saying, is of course the student community. So 16 to 20, 21 to 25, we are more than about uh, 2 lakhs there. So that is fine. But if you can see the right side table, right? Between 86 and 90 years old, we have uh, two, and we have uh, between 81 and 85, one person, 76 to 81 person. So like somebody said, age does not matter. There is no limit on age, yes. We had a, a one madam in Chennai who's 86 years old and who actually studied German one and German two last year during COVID time. She came to the center, she wrote exams for both subjects and she actually got certificates with very good marks, more than 80 marks, she got certificates in both courses. So that is our youngest learner, I will say that we have currently in NPTEL. So that is, I think, the uh, best thing for us that NPTEL has no age, NPTEL has no minimum age, maximum age to actually study from us. Age is just a numeric, Amit says, yes, correct, Amit, age is just a numeric. You can study whenever you want, wherever you are you know, as long as you can make the time. So this is something. And if you're wondering, saying uh, how many students study how many courses, right? Maybe you think some students study only one or two courses and that's all we can do. That's what is useful, right? Look at this. There is one learner who has done 47 NPTEL exams with us. That's as good as a degree program or more than the degree program that all of you are doing. How many courses you'll do there? I don't know. Maybe if you're doing a BSc, it's a six into six, maybe 36 courses. Or if it's a BTEC also, if I say six courses per semester, it's about 48. So he's done equivalent to that. Okay. So there is one learner who's done 47 exams, 34 exams, 33 exams, 32 exams, and so on. So you can see maximum people, yes, 5.6 lakhs do one exam, but there are 1.4 lakhs who are doing two exams, 48,000 doing three. And if you look up to 10 exams even, right? A lot of them are doing 10 exams, eight exams with us. So maybe you should think about and plan for how you are going to study, which courses you are going to do as you are in college. And every semester, try to do at least one or two NPTEL courses and finish with a certificate. That will be really nice that you can do that with your college. Okay. This is something we wanted to say. Uh, who are these people who are doing these courses? They are employed, they are faculty members, they are students, all people like you. So it's not like these people come suddenly from somewhere or they are also special, they are so privileged, nothing like that. They are there in all towns, in all kinds of environment. They also have their constraints, but they are also studying from these courses and doing multiple courses, okay? So this is uh, swayam.gov.in, okay? This is the uh, portal that you have to go to. And once you go here, you can click on the NPTEL icon that is given here. So I hope you can see the screen. Click on the NPTEL icon. It will take you to our NPTEL page, okay? Once you go to the NPTEL page, there is on the right side, you can see that there is an email ID. If you have any doubts, you have any questions, you can ask us, write to us on this email ID, or you can also call this phone number. And uh, the left side, if you see, there is a view course catalog here. This will show all the NPTEL courses that are open for the January 2022 semester. So as you can see, ongoing semester, we have 593 courses open for enrollment and the number of learners who are already enrolled so far 
is 5,27,000. So it is not like 10 people, 20 people or 100 people learn from our courses. It is in lakhs. If you have not yet uh, enrolled to any course, there are already 5 lakh people doing our courses. Don't be left behind. Go today, explore and join our courses. Okay. So go to view course catalog, click on it. You will get the details of every course that we have here. The 593 courses will get shown here. What will each card show you for a preliminary filtering? So the name of the course comes, which institute is offering that IIT Karakpur, IIT Gauhati. You can see the institute name. You can see the faculty name. Apart from it, like I said, to not get confused, if you want to be sure you want to do an NPTEL course, ensure that the logo called NPTEL is coming on the card. I'll show you the other national coordinators courses also, but you have to be sure that NPTEL is coming here if you want to enroll to an NPTEL course. Then the duration of the course comes. So there's a 12 weeks on the next card, it's four weeks and so on. So you can see how long the course is for. When is the exam date? And what is the last day to enroll to the course? So these can be seen on this uh, uh, cards here. Okay, now there are 593 courses. You can't scroll down and see each of these, correct? So how do I filter from these? On the left side, you can see about five filters that are given there. Already we have filtered with national coordinator. So NPTEL is done. That's already there. Now, suppose I want to see only 12-week courses. I don't want to see eight-week courses. So you can search from here. You put 12 weeks, you can see only the 12 week courses that are given there. The other weeks uh, courses get filtered out. So that is point one. Supposing I want to see what are the courses that have exams in March? What are the courses that have exams in April? April. So you can uh, check that out and you can see the March and April dates alone. You can filter by that. We can ask Lakshmi whether the others can be cleaned up, right? Can you make notes of these? <clears throat> so that's something that you can check and you can get the courses which have exams only on a particular date. Okay. Course credits is not important for you. So I wouldn't really do that. Uh, supposing now we say, let me look out for say humanities and arts courses that are there as part of NPTEL. Okay. So you can see here basics of language science. Uh, contextualizing gender, education for sustainable development, German 2 course, then uh, literature, creative communication, German 3, theoretical perspectives, globalization, introduction to econometrics and so on. Here also you can further filter if you want say just English courses. Suppose I want to see just the English courses. In subcategories I'll choose English. Okay, there's nothing coming here. Maybe you have to do humanities and social sciences I think. Yeah, so you can see all the English related courses coming in here, the humanities courses coming in here. Okay, so that is something that's there. Supposing you are a BCom student, like you were asking, okay, what are the BCom related courses? So I'll go back. Yeah, in category, we can choose, uh, what will we choose? Management and commerce. Okay, and in the left side, commerce and entrepreneurship are selected already. So it is showing you all the courses related to that. So maybe the BCom students who are here, you can actually see these. You can see microeconomics, stochastic processes, principles of management, all these courses you can see here. So that is for this, right? Okay, so you can go here, you can search on this. This is step one. Okay, assuming I have found out the course I want to do, which is business statistics now. So I'm going to click on business statistics and I'm going to open the course page. What information do I have here? You can, of course, see the course title at the top. You can see the faculty and the institute. Okay. How many learners have joined the course to till today? So that is something that you can see. Okay. That information I have. Now the next information, when does the course start? When does the course end? When is the exam date? On the right side, you can see all of it. So start date is 24 Jan. End date is 15th April. Exam date is 23rd April. When does the enrollment end? All that is given here. Okay. And you can see a gray tab at the bottom which says this is an AICT approved FTP course, which means for faculty, if you do this course and you pass it, you can apply for an FTP certificate for this. You can watch the video given here, which is an introductory video. It will give you an idea of how the faculty speaks, what the course has, some details about it that will be there. If you scroll down further, 
you can see the course layout every week what is the content and topics that are being taught so you can see that that he is teaching that and you can see what are the rules for getting the course certificate so these are also given here on what you have to do what you have to complete for this particular course okay now i go back up and i am interested in this course i'm happy with the details i saw here i click on join button okay once i go to join button there is this thing called google okay we would recommend using google here please go to google and then you click on it your email id you can use your college email id make it into a google account or you can use your personal gmail id if you have it okay so i'll start off i'll fill up my name here uh, give your mobile number so that we can send you sms about your hall tickets about your exam any other reminders we want to send so please put in your correct mobile number in this particular joining form which age group do you belong to you can put that in so current country residing in currently will be india for students please select profession as student for faculty please select role as faculty if you want an fdp certificate unless your profession is faculty we will not give you an fdp certificate so if you are a student please select student if you are a faculty please select faculty if you are other uh, not a student not a faculty you can select employed or others okay these four have to be done carefully put your qualification year of graduation if you are in your first year and you are graduating in 2023 in the drop down you'll get up to that so you can see that we go on up to 2028 so if you are not yet graduated you can just say you'll graduate in 23 or 2024 or 2025 whatever that is more just for us to know which year of college you are in okay the most important part are you a part of nptel swayam local chapter you have to say yes if you belong to an nptel local chapter if you have a doubt contact your faculty on this check whether it is there and say yes if you belong to an nptel local chapter once you say yes select the proper state so let's go for pedapalli andhra pradesh we can go to maybe telangana right here yeah. telangana i think yeah uh, telangana and then uh, choose a college trinity so you can start typing trinity college you can see here trinity college of engineering at the palli that comes so you select the state start typing the college name okay then you put in your college roll number so that your faculty can track your details much more easily what degree you are doing what department you are doing all your degrees and departments may not be listed here choose the one that is closest to what you are studying these will not impact in any way this is more for data collection from our side put your roll number correctly because your college tracks your progress using that so do that put your study year whether you are on first year second year third year fourth year whatever and then you agree to the terms and conditions and then you uh, join course okay that is all there is to join an nptel course it is as easy as that how many minutes did we take because i was explaining probably it took us even like 3 minutes if you were to fill the form it might take you i would say maybe one and a half minutes so how long to join an nptel course one and a half minutes is all it takes if you want to join five or 10 courses how much time is it going to take you 15 minutes the next time you want to join another course all the details will be saved you just have to go to the course click join and it comes the form will be pre filled for you so it won't even take you one and a half minutes maybe it will take you 30 seconds okay no fees for it as you can see we did not ask you for any fees joining is free you can see everything for free till you come to the certification exam so there are multiple tabs here the left tab shows you how does an nptel online course work so these are short videos we have made to explain what an nptel course is where should you click to watch a video where should you click to do an assignment how should you register to the exam form etc okay go through these videos it will be very very helpful if you are doing an online course for the very first time okay click on all of these watch these videos maximum it will take you 15 minutes each video is just 2 or 3 minutes long not more than that okay and then at the top on the red color bar you can see there are four tabs announcements tab announcements is very important because whatever we want to inform you we will put as announcements here this is the first announcement 
every week when we put out content we'll put an announcement here and say this week's contents are released this week's assignment is released your assignment deadline is coming we will put all that out so every day just log in and check out the announcements tab to see whether we have put out any announcement the second one ask a question ask a question is very very important because it is the discussion forum just like it uh, the name says ask a question if you have a doubt if you do not understand something you want to ask some clarification put it out here in ask a question the faculty and their team will help answer your doubt okay it is a direct connection for you to interact with the faculty to interact with the team and to get your doubts cleared this is support that we give when the course is running okay that is something that you can do the third tab is progress progress is again very important because it will show you your marks that you have gotten in every week's assignment so that's something that you would want to keep track of because for getting the final certificate you have to get more than 40 out of 100 average assignment score so every week you have to see whether you submitted on time and whether you got the marks for it please keep keep checking this progress tab uh, once the course starts and the assignments start closing the progress tab will start showing your marks in the weekly assignments then the last tab is for mentors and local chapters not necessary for you your college can explain this for you to uh, attach yourself to your mentors okay so this is about the portal it's very simple portal there are only four tabs here every week when we start adding content on the left side the content will start showing up it will come as week 1 week 2 week 3 it will keep coming there and inside that there will be maybe 5 6 7 videos that you have to watch one assignment that you can uh, you have to do for that particular week and there be some transcripts for that particular week so you can see that and you can progress so some uh, student was asking how can we manage our college along with the nptel course like i said there are no live lectures live videos that you have to attend at say monday 3 o'clock you have to attend this otherwise you will miss the course on tuesday at maybe 12 o'clock afternoon we have to uh, we are providing this lecture please attend it's not a live lecture it is recorded lectures you can watch it at your convenience how else do you manage it every week we put out about 2 and a half to 3 hours of content okay so maybe for watching it it will take you i would say if i'm making notes also which typically i expect students will be doing it might take you about 5 to 6 hours i would say to watch the video lectures for that particular week assignment might take you another one or two hours so i would say a total of maybe 8 hours is good for an nptel course if you want to really get more than 80 or 90 in that course right so you can uh, kind of plan for it and say that every day from monday onwards let me watch one video for that particular week correct so that you finish watching one one video by saturday you watch all videos for that week on saturday you can do a recap maybe watch something you have not understood go through the discussion forum and then attempt the assignment so this is an easy thing to do i think as students all of you would have half an hour during work days and you can have maybe 2 3 hours during the week and you can spare for studying an extra course so our recommendation is do not try to do more than one or two courses every semester do not aspire for five or six courses unless you are very confident unless you know the subjects very well unless you have the time to cope up with unless your other load whether you are working or whether you are a student or something are able to manage both so i would say if you are aiming for certification one or two courses a semester is a very good thing very easy thing to aspire for it is absolutely doable okay you can do it from your side it is uh, like i was showing you why were we showing you the slide that somebody has done 47 exams with us he does six six exams every semester six courses he studies with us so that is something that other people are doing if they can do six courses every semester can we not do one or two courses per semester i think that should be fine you should just be able to manage your time maybe get off your social media and just don't keep scrolling on all the things that keep popping up and keep responding to something here use your time more wisely use your time more efficiently and i think you should be able to do one or two courses very very easily every semester and say you are in a three year program a ba bsc bcom if you start off from say your semester 1 or semester 2 
when you finish the program, you'll easily have about six to 10 NPTEL certificates. It's very valuable. You would have gained a lot of knowledge plus additional certifications also. If you're in a BE program too, by the time you come to placements, you will have enough certificates to show your expertise, okay? So that is definitely doable. And I think, uh, yeah, I hope this is clear on how to register, how to search for courses. If you have any doubts, if you have any guidance required, please ask your faculty teachers. They should be able to help you. If you have any questions on the portal, write to support at NPTEL iitm.ac.n we will reply to you helping you out in whatever question you're asking okay so how do we uh, put the pass criteria the assignments that you submit every week we take the best three out of four weeks assignment for a four week course best six out of eight assignments for an eight week course best eight out of 12 assignments in a 12 week course the average assignment score must be greater than or equal to 40 out of 100 that is Criteria number one, then the exam that you give in the center, you should score more than 40 out of 100 in that also, then you get a certificate. But it's not enough if you, you know, just aspire for getting a 40. I think that is uh, not the way that you should be studying. You should aspire to get 60, 70, 80, 90, even a 100, right? So we have special categories for those who score so much. So more than 60, if you get, we give you an elite tag more than 75, it's a silver medal on the certificate, more than 90, it's a gold medal on the certificate. And then we have toppers also that are put on the certificate, okay? Yeah. This is what the certificate looks like. It has the NPTEL logo. Uh, then it has your photo on the certificate. It has, uh, as you can see, the LE tag, the gold medal. We have just put it here to say, if you fall under these categories, you can see all these coming on your certificate. Then uh, the institute, so if IIT Madras offers the course uh, at the bottom where the institute logo and round is put, you can see IIT Madras uh, logo there, IIT Madras, the name will be put there, signatures from our side will come and so on. So this is the way that you can see how the certificate looks, okay. There is a QR code at the back and people who want to verify the certificate, maybe your employer, maybe uh, from the college, they can just scan this and we will show the actual certificate from our server side. So there's a way to e-verify the certificate that the student might bring and present to you. Okay. Yeah, I think we've seen all this. So I'm going to run through all of this. I'm not going to talk about this. We had 20 lakh people who joined our courses in January semester, 20 lakhs who joined our July semester. And in 2021, we had 16 lakhs who joined the Jan semester, 16 lakhs who joined our July semester. So it's not 5,000, it's not 10,000, it's not 1 lakh like I'm seeing on the chat window here, but it is 16 lakhs who was our enrollment number last semester. Out of these exams, those who are written over the last five years, it is 15.1 lakh people have registered for exams with us. And they've gotten, so our total enrollment in NPTEL today is 1.58 crores over the last uh, seven years from when we are running this certification project. We have finished 3,500 courses almost and enrollment is 1.58 crores, 15 lakhs exam registration, that's the thing. So you can see how big NPTEL is. NPTEL is not something that we are doing 100, 200, 500 people or something like that. Every semester when we conduct exams in March and April, it's 3 lakh people who write our exams. So that's the uh, level at which we do. We conduct exams all over the country. In about 170 cities, we conduct exams outside India, like we said. So this is our data. So if somebody tells you, uh, okay, I haven't heard of NPTEL, you should really tell them saying that 15 lakh people enroll every uh, semester and 3 lakh people write exams. How come you're missing out? You know, that's the answer I will give them. Okay, uh, you can see a lot of feedback about NPTEL on our social media handles. We keep regularly posting about it. We are uh, present on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube community. And you can see all the feedback that we have posted there about people who've gotten jobs, people who've gotten through the soft skill training, who've done our courses, course feedback, everything is available here. So do subscribe to our social media handles so that you can get updates from our site. So this is just a summary. We do courses in multiple departments. All departments are covered here. So there were some students asking chemical engineering, what courses can I do? 
just filter by chemical engineering on so i am and you can see the courses we have whatever interests you you can do that so we have so many courses maximum courses of course are in computer science humanities electrical engineering followed by of course management mechanical and so on so this is what we have we have courses from multiple institutes apart from iits we have other institutes also offering courses for us there are institutes from outside india abroad who are offering courses with us so these are the institutes next uh, so we have uh, next yeah exam attendance percentage for nptel courses is typically 90% and the pass percentage is anywhere between next slide the pass percentage is typically about 70 to 75% in the last three semesters we have seen so that's a good percentage i would say as compared to even sometimes university results that we have seen or whatever so this is the thing uh, faculty participation has been very large so far so we've had more than 30000 people write exams every semester with us so that's what's been happening and uh, about 13000 15000 8000 apply for fpp certificates next okay i'll just give a brief on nptel local chapter because i don't know how many of you are faculty from different colleges who are not a local chapter with us so nptel works with about 4500 colleges today across the country and we have coordinators in each of these colleges who are called a single point of contact or spocs and uh, through them is how we are so successful so thanks to all the local chapter spocs whoever is watching this workshop today who is not watching the workshop today whoever is anywhere they are the champions for nptel within the colleges without them i don't think nptel would have grown so much so thanks to all the spocs of the local chapters and i would like to just briefly say how you can become a local chapter if there's somebody watching who's not yet a local chapter so to become an nptel local chapter there is no money involved there is no financial dealing you just need to send us an email saying that you want to become a local chapter there's a google form on the website fill it up and we need a coordinator in your college who will be our local champion so the head of the institution the director the principal whoever has to send an email saying that we would like to become a local chapter and so and so will be the single point of contact for nptel and that's all once we receive the email we'll verify some details and we will make you a local chapter so <coughs> what why should you become a local chapter can students and faculty from colleges who are not local chapters participate in nptel yes totally you can participate you can be a free learner you can uh, learn from our courses without belonging to a local chapter but having a local chapter in a college is a big advantage there are logins that the single point of contact of the spock has one is a login on swayam portal one is a login on our nptel website and here they get information related to enrollment exam registration the marks the transcripts the certificates all of this is given to the spock directly that they can actually see and they can share with their management also the other benefits are if we don't have a center in your particular city you can request for that if they have more than 200 people writing exams we can facilitate centers in your particular city uh, faculty can become mentors you can follow the progress of your students in the colleges that you can do uh, another important thing i will say is we have csr support from companies who also give us money to help students from economically weaker backgrounds to write exams so this fee waiver we give only to local chapters so if you are a local chapter and you have students who come from economically weak backgrounds if they are doing in pitel courses writing exams once they pass it we will refund 50% of the fee to them based on the college's recommendation so that is something that you can do also all this data that we give to the spoc can be directly shared with bodies such as nac and nba when they come for accreditation and you can say that we are showing this data inside your dashboard that has also been very helpful for colleges is what we came to know these are local chapters that we have this is the state wise distribution uh i think maharashtra is the highest followed by tamil nadu every semester we also we have some few local chapters outside of india and some countries they're not very active but yes they do keep using our courses as they can uh we also rate local chapters every semester based on the participation from their side in the particular semester so how many people have become toppers how many people have written exams how many people have uh you know uh done well based on it we also rank and rate the college local chapters and we uh, publish this list publicly on our website every semester 
other interactions with local chapter uh, people we do soft skill training like i already spoke about it uh, we take help of people here to go to exam centers as our representatives uh, faculty can help in translation effect efforts and uh, yes like i said we rate it and we give recognition to the spoc and the college also every semester so this is the local chapter participation uh, tamil nadu is the highest year and so last semester i think 22000 students from telangana have written exams with us okay uh, these are for the jan december 2021 we just announced the local chapter rating so these are the ratings the top 10 uh, local chapters as uh, rated by us so you can see there is telangana college in that too gokaraju rangaraju institute which has come in uh, in the top 10 so these are certificates that we give them based on the formula that we have to the college and the spoc yeah these are other categories that we have on based on faculty participation based on how local chapters improve semester after semester there is a separate category for art science colleges also yeah this is a yeah star lc who have been in the top 10 or top 100 over the last 4 uh, years that's something that we have done that's it as a presentation that we had today so i hope you learned about nptel about what we do here the nptel office the head office is in iit madras we have our head office here about 70 people work in nptel office in iit madras we have uh, smaller offices in iit kanpur iit kharagpur iit roorkee iit guwahati bombay delhi and iic bangalore also and we all work together to keep this project going it's one of the most successful inter institutional project that eight institutes come together to work on this project and kind of run it for 18 years without a break and to kind of offer 2000 courses that we have today that's what we want to say so my uh, suggestion and uh, uh, you can say maybe i'm old enough to advise all the young students out here also is try out nptel courses today go and go to swayam website join a few courses learn from it sample the videos there you may or may not be able to follow certain videos you may not like certain courses maybe some courses are difficult it's okay you can drop off it is not like a college course that once you join a course you have to be in that course you have to complete that course otherwise somebody will think something somebody will ask you something or maybe a paid fees that will get wasted there is nothing like that in an nptel course so you can join even five courses you can join even 10 courses and you can try out week one videos you can see what you are interested in and then shortlist it to maybe one or two courses follow it up see whether you are able to do assignments maybe it even comes down to one course in a semester but follow it till the end do all the assignments watch all the videos register for the exam do the exam and become a topper in it i think that's something that is very very doable i hope you were able to get that message as we presented in the last one and a half hours that is what we were trying to tell you that don't be afraid that these courses are from iits i cannot do it it will be very difficult there are 15 lakh people who have written exams with us so far it is not like all of them are coming out from iits or they are all like very well accomplished they are all coming from highly studious backgrounds something like that they are also students just like you in any college what you need is the interest to study what you need is the motivation you have to put out time it is not like two days before the nptel exam let me study and get a certificate you will not get a certificate every week you have to watch videos every week you have to do the assignment then you can definitely get a certificate so you need hard work and it will pay off okay but it is not like i cannot do it there is no such thing as i cannot do an nptel course anybody can do an nptel course we showed you people from age 86 years doing nptel courses we showed you people from all nook and corners of the country doing nptel courses there is local language translation support of transcripts in some courses that will help you understand the subject better your faculty are there to help you if you do not understand something your friends are there to help you if you all join a course together discuss and forum is there ask questions ask doubts if you have something there but try out and learn something which is outside of your college curriculum today when companies are looking out for recruitment one of the things they see is okay your college degree is there apart from this what have you done that is something that all of them are looking at are you able to learn on your own are you able to study outside of college curriculum are you picking up any skills that are relevant for any job you might be trying for this is something that companies do look out for it's not just a resume saying bsc with this ba with this that might be one thing 
but then we look at okay what else what else what else that is something that all of us look out for when we are recruiting people so it might be good to have a few certifications to at least get your skills enhanced to learn what you are interested in to try and explore new opportunities that are there it is free there is no fee to learn you can download and watch the videos you can download and do the courses you can enroll in swayam courses and do it only the final exam has a 1000 rupees fee that also we are giving fee waivers if you are a local chapter so you can use that also you have to pay first get your exam done pass the course we will be able to help you with fee waivers on that front also so don't let money be a barrier don't let anything else be a barrier put in your time put in your effort learn from nptel get skilled and i hope you do much much better looking forward to meeting all of you sometime in the future when we probably travel to your college and maybe we get to do an in person workshop we will see when we can do that in the uh, coming years or whatever till then all the best and i hope that all of you do enroll to a course and uh, thank you sir for giving this opportunity for organizing this workshop and letting us interact with the students uh, handing it over to you thank you मॉर्निंग मैम दिव्या मैम यस सर हम प्रिंसिपल सभी की तरह ज्वाइन मैम ओके ओके यस ओके हेलो हेलो Sir, uh, yeah. Uh, good morning to all of you, and uh, I would like to. Uh, good morning, sir. Ah, uh, yeah. Say that, but. Ah, yes, sir. You are on, sir. Yeah, yeah. Uh, say good morning to uh, all of you, and uh, I would like to uh, uh, thank. Uh, uh miss bharati for her wonderful uh, inspiring exhaustive uh, uh lecture as well as uh, informative uh, uh, content on uh, the complete details of nptel as well as the uh, lc chapters so uh, it is very uh, nice to hear on this workshop uh, about the various initiatives that has been taken by nptel which was started in the year 2003 with a small note and it has expanded uh, over a, a period of time to 1.8 crore uh, enrollments and 19 lakh exam registrations uh, and 4000 on odd uh, lc colleges and 4087 moocs uh, and uh, 70 industry associates so it is very impressive uh, that uh, nptel has expanded its horizon uh, in uh, with the help of local chapters industry associates uh, and uh, translation uh, towards uh, gate preparation as well as csr initiatives uh, and internship opportunities uh, and faculty initiatives and workshops uh. so it is very inspiring uh, to note that uh, uh, nptel has uh, grown uh, to such a large extent to cater to the uh, knowledge resources of uh, our uh, indian people and also some of the foreign countries uh. and uh, it started with the knowledge for everyone as a logo and i think uh, definitely uh, the nptel chapters are going in the right direction uh, with the help of uh, all iits and ias of course uh, we have uh, plenty of uh, uh, inputs uh, from uh, the uh, host on uh, various types of nptel courses as well as uh, uh, swayam courses in various domains almost 22 domains uh, uh, are the ones they are catering to and uh, we are very hopeful uh, to get introduced to certain uh, new uh, technologies uh, which they call as emerging technologies uh, emerging technology trends uh, uh, complete courses on emerging technologies which will be useful for our students and especially our students are uh, uh, able to find uh, tremendous job opportunities uh, with the help of uh, nptel and there is no doubt about it Uh, whenever uh, they complete a course uh, as per the recent uh, uh, see uh, hallmark uh, uh, rule of uh, uh, see recommendations of uh, 
AICT, uh, like uh, 40 percent of the courses can be uh, taken from the Swayam portal or NPTEL portal. And it is a boon to many of our uh, autonomous institutions where we offer uh, uh, many courses under choice-based credit system, uh, under open electives and uh, departmental electives. So we were uh, able to pull in a certain many number of additional credit courses uh, uh, into the curriculum uh, so that a fast learner will be able to complete. Uh, as Bharati said, uh, uh, a fast learner can complete even uh, three courses per semester. So that uh, his credits are getting accumulated uh, into his grade card, uh, grade sheets uh, and transcripts. Uh, and a credit equivalence committee will work on it. And then it has been put on to the ABC portal, wherein uh, academic banking of credits uh, uh, paves way for uh, these fast learners to uh, get an advantage uh, either in employment or in uh, higher studies. So uh, one fine day will definitely be coming uh, uh, to all our uh, existing professionals as well as students of uh, however what the age may be, how many credits, academic credits you have in your bank will be the important question of uh, one fine day. So uh, many uh, initiatives that has been taken by uh, NPTEL is very impressive and uh, you are all uh, doing a great job here and especially the local chapters are uh, acting as a uh, hub and spoke uh, model and it is uh, uh, see encouraging uh, the nearby institute as well as the student community uh, to get into the mainstream of uh, uh, online learning. With the pandemic uh, in place, I think uh, many of our faculty by this time should have also been uh, competent enough to do course authoring, but it has not, uh, uh, unfortunately, it has not happened. And if NPTEL is capable, if uh, providing uh, a uh, course authoring tool for our faculty on a trial and error basis. Uh, we will be able to try it out uh, within our institute itself uh, so that uh, uh, we get uh, enough amount of training uh, in uh, authoring a particular course uh, uh, similar to NPTEL. So with these few words, I would like to appreciate uh, all the uh, speakers as well as all the uh, people who have put in lots of efforts uh, in this particular uh, uh, journey of uh, knowledge for everyone and Peter. And all the very best and thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. Now uh, we can start presenting the PPT. Am I audible, ma'am? Yes, sir, you are. Hello. Uh, can I, ma'am, start? Good morning. Hello. Uh, uh, I think I'm audible uh, enough. Yes. Yes, yes sir, sir. You are audible. Yes, you are yeah, audible. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so this is Dr. Sanjay Vaikar from MGM CET, Navi Mumbai. And uh, uh, thank you very much for NPTEL team uh, for this initiative. And, uh, and and as I want to specially mention that in, in PTL as a great support uh, team uh, for organizing these particular such of events for uh, for our uh, local chapters. Uh, so as this is our uh, means we are uh, just last year itself uh, we had uh, actually uh, uh, be uh, being a, a local chapter. So uh, just let me introduce first my uh, college as uh, MGM College of Engineering.
actually uh, 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 its inception is 1982 itself and uh, uh, be uh, in uh, set up by in 1986 uh, itself the institute mgm uh, mgm college of engineering is now it is it's having the uh, chain of engineering colleges medicals nursing management dental uh, uh, physiotherapy science journalism uh, fine arts etc spread over uh, the four uh, actually the educational centers like navi mumbai nanded uh, aurangabad and uh, noida uh, actually mgm college of engineering and technology uh, this uh, uh, has the uh, actual objective of the institution is to impart value based quality education by combining the academics with uh, exposure to the industry and with this view in mind uh, it actually provides the state of art infrastructure facilities and uh, academic uh, resources to its students so uh, no normally the college is affiliated to uh, university of mumbai uh, and approved by the iict uh, uh, new delhi and mgm uh, CET is awarded with ISO 9001 2000 certification by RINA uh, for providing technical education in engineering field as per the uh, guidelines of the University of Mumbai. And uh, it's my actually, uh, uh, it's again, I would like to, it's, it's my pleasure to share that uh, last week itself because of our honorable chairman, Sri Kamal Kishore Kadam, sir, and uh, under the uh, guidance of our eminent director, Dr. Gita Latra, Madam, our MGM seat is awarded as Outstanding Academic Institution by World Education Congress 2022 uh, in the last week itself. Okay, so uh, I start with the uh, today's agenda as uh, such with respect to the uh, how how exactly uh, the NPTEL courses helps our students with respect to the uh, internship and the uh, in in placement at our uh, colleges. As uh, as I already mentioned, NPTEL courses help a lot for not only uh, for students but also for faculty uh, to add knowledge. But actually uh, helps out to understand the many subjects inside thoroughly also and in the practical sense also. So NPTEL courses also help students in their placements. Uh, our in our colleges means normally uh, before having the local chapter also. Uh, uh, individually they are uh, doing enrolling uh, the these particular courses and uh, by by benefit of that we have the total plus uh, 200 plus placements achieved from uh, last year and uh, many faculties also completed nptl uh, ftp courses uh, this is some of the glimpse uh, then uh, there are some strategies like how we are initiating this as we are starting from it as i mentioned not only uh, before the local chapter also and being the local chapter we motivate students uh, to enroll for the NPTEL courses to uh, crown, uh, class, uh, classroom counseling and meetings by displaying the banners on the display boards uh, encouraging the students and faculties through uh, the various social medias like whatsapp and facebook uh, showing them the videos in the classrooms uh, uh, these are some of the uh, glimpses and uh, some of the impact stories like uh, i can especially uh, would like to mention that uh, our uh, our uh, actually uh, some of the students not only the uh, from biomedical students Sayyid Samir Fatma uh, she has actually uh, have the silver medal uh, got silver medal uh, also the one of the students uh, he has also got uh, the silver medal uh, from uh, from the uh, particular course from the biomedical department also and one of the uh, our faculty member from computer department Divya Divedi, uh, she has got the uh, gold medal these are some of the achievements uh, as uh, as i mentioned to our uh, by doing the NPTEL courses okay so uh, that that is what i want to mention uh, and thank you again uh, for giving me this opportunity uh, uh, the NPTEL team and uh, for our uh, college management thank you thank you very much over to you, uh, ma'am. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you, sir.
so you can stop the presentation uh yeah hello ma'am uh, is my uh, am i audible and is my screen visible so you are audible yeah is the screen visible you have started sharing your slides sir yeah yes yes uh yeah i think now we should be able to, yeah just to give me a minute yeah yes yes is it visible now yes all right yeah so once again uh, a warm good morning to all the participants uh this is eshan rakesh roshan here i am the swayam hospital coordinator for uh, rg uh, rgukt pasar telangana uh about our local chapter so i'll just quickly you know brief a few points about our university so rajiv gandhi university of knowledge technologies rgkt basar is in telangana is in the, is it is in the district of uh, nirmal it is it is started in the year 2008 uh, primarily to cater to the educational needs of the rural youth of the state and uh, we here offer an integrated btech program so after 10th class or ssc the students would be joining with us so and they would be doing a 2 plus 4 uh, integrated btech program so two years of puc Uh, followed by four years of engineering we have seven branches you know engineering branches at our institute so the university is spread over uh, 270 plus acres it's a lush green campus and we have uh, almost 8500 students you know uh, and it's completely residential for the students and uh, every year the intake is 1500 per batch so with this background let me just share with you the local chapter journey uh of our institute with nptel so we have been partnering with nptel uh, from 2016 uh, i i just put out the stats on the screen so so far uh, we have uh, uh, almost uh, 2000 plus students you know getting certified from nptel and the recent one which is the january april 2022 run which just concluded uh, uh, last month we had almost uh, 267 students you know getting certified and uh, almost 30 of 33 of them you know topping uh, being the course toppers at the national level so and our students have been doing good at the national level and uh, we have been uh, as part of local chapter ratings we have been a part of the local chapter ratings the top 100 uh, uh, almost three to four times by now so so we we had conducted you know similar to the nptel awareness workshop that's being conducted right now we had conducted an uh, awareness workshop for the you know local chapter our local chapter faculty as well as the nearby colleges almost from the south india almost 50 plus colleges you know got benefited from that so these are a few glimpses from it and uh, we have got all the courses you know that are available with nptel almost uh, you know 16 uh, 8 to 12 tb and got them uh, with us in the hard disk and then we have kept it in our local server so nptel.rgkt.ac.in and all the students can access these uh, courses you know from their desk so they did not once again go to impetel channel and then you know, we we reduce i mean there is there is no necessity of you know unnecessarily wasting the bandwidth so all these courses are also made available at the local chapter you know in the server such that the students can get access to them uh, you know at their desk you know at their will at any point of time uh, uh, during the day and uh, we have got a very strong support from our administration the former vice chancellor uh, current vice chancellor and the current director sir all of them have been supporting this npetel initiative uh, and we also we are also uh, the first university in telangana to adapt the credit transfer uh, for the institute uh, since 2017 right, we our students have been taking courses from npetel on credit transfer basis almost 200 plus uh, 200 plus students have taken the courses for credit transfer and right now we are doing it for fine year students and uh, what are the advantages for the student community there are a lot of uh, advantages you know first thing is they'll get apart from you know getting the knowledge fundamental knowledge from the best brains in the country uh, they get certificates from nptel and from the iits which obviously would add up you know to to their uh, to the value to the existing courses and uh, for faculty coming to faculty you know uh, faculty could do fdp courses and there are a wide variety of courses being offered so faculty could 
save on the money and time you know and energy you know rather than going somewhere else to do the courses they can do it at their own sweet time i mean because obviously we will we will we'll not be able to spend let us say one week dedicatedly for uh, the fdp right generally so we can sit at our own places and we should be able to do this and that's really helpful for our faculty and a couple of them have more than 50 i, I should say have completed fdp courses and uh, it, it it has been very helpful for the students for placements and internships as well you know students keep coming back to me you know after their interviews and then they they tell me that you know sir uh, interviewer has, has have shown them the impetus certification they were impressed and then they've asked a couple of questions on the subject that i have taken so obviously it, it shows that the student is motivated you know other than the regular courses that are already a part of your curriculum uh, it also shows the the zeal of the candidate to learn more you know to to get more in depth concepts in the in the subject and that is how and it it also impresses the interviewers and uh, the, all these have been helping our students you know uh, towards the placements as well as internships and i already mentioned about the credit transfer so we have been doing courses on credit transfer and that that's really helpful for our students because the same thing whatever they do it reflects in their marks memo also and uh, and also i would like to thank the strong support received being received from nptel team all through right from 2016 onwards and i should also take this occasion to appreciate all the latest initiatives that they have been bringing so it's not just about uh, courses that are made available it's not just about the certifications as mentioned by bharti ma'am in today's session you know there have been a variety of uh, initiatives for the students as well as faculty so we are very thankful to nptel team for that and also i would like to acknowledge the administration and support of our university administration the former vice chancellor former directors uh, former ao and the current director and current vice chancellor sir for their continuous support towards the nptel initiatives at our university rjkt basar so thank you with this let me uh, conclude so thank you one and all for your uh, patient attention and i i wish that all the participants would get benefited from this workshop and then explore the you know initiatives that are offered by nptel and i am sure this would be a turning point in all of your careers so thank you once again yeah over to you ma'am thank you sir Good morning, ma'am. Yes, sir. You are audible, sir. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. तो मैं स्क्रीन पर सुन रहा हूं सर द स्क्रीन इज विजिबल सो Yes, it is visible, sir. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Good morning, Tony Doll. Yeah, the hell. Uh, on behalf of K Ramakrishna College of Technology, uh, I'm going to share about some of the points and achievements in our institution. Uh, to NPT local chair. Uh, our institute was established in the year 2010, and with uh, seven UG and four PG courses, and uh, in the most We are, the, we are the first self-financing institute at KLR degree, and uh, we got NBA accreditation in AC and mechanical. We are associated with the NPTEL since 2016. We are having an university research organization center for TSC and AC department. Uh, in the year 2020, 2020, we got autonomous status from UGC. Uh, we have more than signed MOU with 40 companies, and uh, our campus is upgrade campus, and. Uh, 
we received around 25 lakhs from various funding agency uh, for uh, different activities uh, in addition to that uh, among the 100 patents were filed in uh, 24 hours and uh, recently we achieved something uh, this is the uh, local chapter statistic for uh, institute. Uh, in the from the year 2016, we are going on increasing in the registration count. But uh, the topper count and the other count is uh, is some we are on working on this. Students and faculty members are motivated to do the courses and get certified. Uh, with respect to Uh, we are reimbursing the amount uh, for their pain and uh, uh, if the faculty member or student they will be honored with a cash award of thousand rupees. And uh, for uh, Dr. Akbar, your voice is not audible. I remember those who are receiving the medical award for Still not audible, sir. Now, uh, around 222. Hello, Sayyad Akbar, sir. Still not audible, sir. And, uh, around eight, uh, eight student faculty and, and 52 to silver and 12 members were from uh, by the uh, learners of NPTL has sponsored to organize the awareness. Uh, sir, yeah, sir. In the year 2018, uh, we have organized the Intel Awareness Workshop. And we are unable to see your presentation. Uh, Haritha, sir. And uh, similarly, from our management also, we are uh, honoring the student and faculty who are uh, complete the course and uh, receiving the talk and the goal. Not audible, ma'am. Yeah, whether it's audible, no, ma'am. Audible, no, ma'am. It's, it's not live only, sir. One minute, sir. I think there is some network issue, so the voice is not coming clearly. Oh, uh, whether it's whether it's now okay, ma'am? Yes, sir. Ah, uh, yeah, ma'am. The year 2018, we have organized an awareness workshop sponsored by NPTEL IIT Madras, and uh, around more than four. This participated. No, again, there is a break in your voice. Sir. Similarly, uh, every year we are organizing felicitation program for our students and faculty members. Uh, we are honored. Oh. Every year we are organizing the felicitation program for students and faculty members. Those who are receiving the gold and toppers and the certified members also honored. Uh, Thank you. Thank you all from uh, from my side. That's it. Thank you all. Ma'am.
Good morning to all. Myself Syed Akbar, Spock of K. Ramakrishnan College of Technology. It's my immense pleasure to give the vote of thanks. First of all, I would like to thank the NPTEL local chapter team for arranging such a useful NPTEL awareness program, which is very useful for continuous learning. And I am sure this program will give us more impression among the students and faculty members. Thank you all. Next, I would like to extend my sincere thanks to our beloved principal, Dr. N. Vasudevan, sir, for sharing his valuable added points about the NPTEL. Thank you, sir. And I also extend my sincere gratitude to all the local chapter of NPTEL for being a part of this event. Thank you, sir. Last but not least, I would like to express my sincere thanks to all the participants of various colleges. Thank you all. Once again, I thank you for the wonderful opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, NPTEL team. Thank you, sir. Studio team, now we can stop the live streaming. Please stop the live streaming.